Good morning, I am back. It's May, it's springtime in Michigan. It's about 50 degrees and rainy. I keep reading in the news. There's a big hoopla about choosing the next Republican presidential candidate. They keep saying the Republicans don't have anyone. But I mean, what difference does it make? I say, why all the hoopla? That president's never gonna be sworn in. November 2012 will be the presidential election. Doesn't matter who wins. According to the Mayans, the world is gonna end on December 21st, 2012. I didn't know this before I heard the world was gonna end, but evidently the Mayans must be good predictors of the future, because everyone is believing this. But it seemed kind of funny. Most Mayans I know, and I don't know any Mayans personally, but most Mayans I know about live down in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, Central America, those regions. Basically, they're living in the jungle. And I'll just say, from what I've seen, they don't have a whole lot of assets. I think a lot of them are living at the poverty level. Now, if they were such great predictors of the future, don't you think all these Mayans would be employed today lucratively as, say, weathermen? Don't you think if you could see the future, if you're a good predictor, you'd make a great stockbroker? Maybe they don't want a job. Seems like you could just fly up here, buy one lottery ticket. Supposedly, the world is going to end on December 21st of next year. No, oh, it's not one of those kind of things they talk about, you know, if you never saw it coming. Because this is going to be the biggest event in our lives. We should be able to enjoy it a little bit. It'd be kind of disappointing if on December 21st you're sitting around at your breakfast table eating Captain Crunch and watching Oprah Winfrey reruns, and all of a sudden you're just gone and you don't even know it. I mean, there should be at least some sirens and hoopla and, and oh my God, it's coming, here it comes, watch out. But no, but no pain. I don't want pain. But at least, you know, we should be able to experience it. Not just, oh, now here's a word from our sponsor. And then the show never comes back on, and neither do you. You know, in a way, all this hoopla about the world endings is, I think it's a good thing. Because it makes all of us review our lives. What have I done with my life? What will I be remembered for? Have I done everything I wanted to? Will I be remembered? Have I done something to be remembered for? Well, that's not my worry. My worry is I will be remembered. My worry is I'll be remembered for doing these videos. Can you imagine 100 years from now when archaeologists digging around in the rubble? And I don't mean human archaeologists because the world is going to be wiped out basically, right? You know, maybe there'll be a huge nuclear holocaust or something. And then the scientists are telling us the only thing that could possibly survive something like that would be the cockroaches. So I'm thinking maybe 100, 200, 300 years from now, cockroaches will have taken over the world, will have evolved, will be semi-intelligent beings. Think of the horror of some of the cockroach archaeologists unearthed these videos. Their picture of our society would come from watching my videos. It could set those cockroaches back hundreds of years. I mean, if you've been watching these videos, you know evolution is no match for my brain. Because I figure I am to internet vlogging what Martha Stewart is to bowling. Or Adolf Hitler is to ballroom dancing. I don't get the whole thing with the Mayan prediction. It isn't as if the Mayans actually said, hey, the world's going to end on this date. It's just that their calendar ended. Now, why does that mean the world's going to end? Think about it. If you're a Mayan calendar maker, back in the year 1621 or something, I don't know when the Mayan calendar makers were active. And you started making calendars. And you started with Tuesday, May 1st, 1622. Yeah, don't look that up on the internet. I don't know if it's right or not. Then you go Wednesday, May 2nd, 1622. All you're doing is filling in boxes, but basically it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, etc. Have you got it yet? Do I have to make 400 years worth of these things until you got it? Huh? I mean, if it was up to me, I'd make it most four years so you'd show a leap year. But at some point, you figure someone else could take over in the future. I think it's ambitious to get out to 2012, the end of 2012. Of course, I'm not sure why they didn't go to the very end of 2012. I mean, if you were going to go that far, wouldn't you go at least through the 31st? Just to tie things up? I don't know. I guess if I was a Mayan calendar maker, I guess the only reason I would make 400 years worth of calendars and then end in the middle of a month would be to confuse future cockroach archaeologists or people like me. So until next time, please keep all hands and feet inside the ride till it comes to a complete stop. Oh my God, it's raining. What an idiot.